the first thing you can do is to put in a collagen temporary plug which will dissolve in a matter of a few days to see whether the patient has any relief from their dry eye symptoms. If you want to put in the plugs, the first thing you need to do is apply an anaesthetic. You then dilate the puncture large enough to take the plug. With the old-fashioned plugs, you used to have to measure the size of the puncture to find out what size plug to order. But with the smart plugs, then they expand with body heat, so you don't need to worry about that. With the collagen plugs, they're in 3mm and 5mm, um, so that you can choose two different sizes. And the patient can tell you when you've applied them if it's successful and they feel better. You dilate the puncture and then you put in the plug when the puncture is large enough to take it and push it well down because the patient will get discomfort when the anaesthetic wears off if the puncture is proud and you'll need to push it further down. Um, I'm sure they'll be able to tell you later when the anaesthetic wears off if the puncture isn't pushed in enough. Some patients get a lot of relief from this. There is, however, a biofeedback system, which means that over a period of months, it's possible that they'll produce less aqueous if the drainage isn't particularly good. But certainly, for about 18 months, the patients definitely notice an improvement.